Amid what should be the quietest place in the cosmos, scientists have spotted a flicker. Not from a star or a galaxy, but from something far stranger. In a simulated patch of absolute vacuum, where not a single particle should stir, a beam of light appeared. No mirror, no reflection, just light, seemingly born from emptiness. But was it really empty? Using advanced 3D simulations, a team led by Oxford and Lisbon physicists has recreated one of quantum electrodynamics' strangest predictions, that light can emerge from the vacuum itself, a space long thought to be truly void. They didn't just imagine it, they modeled it in real time, revealing how fluctuations in space could be amplified to form detectable photons. In this episode, we'll explore what this effect really is, how physicists built the simulation, and why it's a crucial step toward understanding one of the most counterintuitive predictions of modern physics. The project focuses on a phenomenon called vacuum four-wave mixing. It's a nonlinear quantum interaction where, under very high electromagnetic field strengths, light can interact with itself and generate additional photons from the quantum vacuum. In the classical framework, light beams don't interfere with one another in free space. But quantum theory predicts that in the presence of vacuum fluctuations, brief and constant appearances of virtual particles, intense fields can coax these fluctuations into producing real, observable effects. The team, using the OSIRIS simulation platform, modeled this exact interaction. Three simulated laser beams were set to intersect at precise points. And under the right conditions, a fourth beam emerged, a product not of a physical medium, but of the altered vacuum state. What makes the simulation compelling is its inclusion of real-world imperfections. Instead of treating the system as ideal, the model accounted for beam misalignments, irregular focus, and spatial distortions like astigmatism. These details mirror the complexity of laboratory experiments and help ensure the predictions are actually testable. Rather than producing a conceptual animation, the researchers developed a full 3D time-resolved model. It provides both spatial and temporal resolution to visualize how virtual particle activity transforms into real photon signals. This work ties directly into foundational aspects of quantum electrodynamics. QED, the theory describing how light and matter interact at quantum scales. While QED has been confirmed to extraordinary precision in particle physics, several of its more exotic predictions remain untested, particularly those involving the vacuum. One such effect is vacuum birefringence, where the polarization of light changes as it passes through a strong electromagnetic field, even in the absence of matter. The simulation replicated this behavior, demonstrating how the vacuum becomes optically active under extreme conditions. What sets this apart from earlier models is its completeness. Instead of relying on simplified assumptions or idealized conditions, the simulation reflects how experiments would actually unfold in practice. The model captures polarization shifts, direction changes, and pulse distortions in a dynamic environment. The significance extends beyond validating one theory. The ability to model light interacting with itself in vacuum offers a framework for exploring other frontiers. If the simulation were extended to include deviations from known physics, it could help detect or constrain hypothetical particles, like axions or millicharged particles, candidates for dark matter. This creates an intersection between experimental QED, astrophysics, and particle physics. It also provides insight into extreme environments like neutron stars or magnetars, where vacuum conditions approach those modeled in the simulation. New laser facilities now coming online are capable of reaching the field strengths required to replicate these effects experimentally. Among the most advanced are the Vulcan 2020 system in the UK, the extreme light infrastructure in Romania, and Shine in China. These facilities are designed to deliver pulses of light at powers of 10 to 100 petawatts, intensities high enough to alter the vacuum. 
The simulation provides detailed guidance on how to structure these experiments. For instance, it gives predictions about the timing of photon production, the alignment tolerances needed for beam intersections, and the expected angular divergence of the resulting signal. Such precision matters. These are high-cost, high-complexity experiments, and researchers need as much predictability as possible. Knowing how distortions like beam curvature or misalignment affect outcomes makes it possible to adjust in advance, rather than interpret data retroactively. In terms of future modeling, the research group plans to introduce more complex laser configurations. These include flying focus beams, which move the laser's focal point in space and time, and structured wavefronts that may interact differently with the vacuum. Each variation opens new windows into how the vacuum responds to external fields. These tools could also be adapted to simulate early universe conditions or test extensions of QED. If unexpected photon behavior occurs, it may hint at new physical principles or undiscovered particles influencing light propagation. In short, this research transforms the vacuum from an abstract backdrop into an interactive component of nature, one that can now be explored systematically. With new laser technologies now capable of recreating these conditions, the opportunity to observe this effect in a physical laboratory is approaching. If successful, such experiments could reshape how we define the vacuum, not as a void, but as a medium rich with potential energy and hidden activity. What was once considered a mathematical abstraction may soon become an observable reality. See you next time.